Hey guys, it's your girl Bea and welcome to my channel. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd really appreciate it if you would push that subscribe button that's all the way over there. So today is not going to be like my videos that I've made before. I basically just want to talk about how today is my last day as a senior in college and all the stuff I went through to get here today. So um, first and foremost, I do want to say congratulations to everybody graduating, whether it's pre-K, kinder, um, high school, but especially college. College is tough. It is not easy. So congratulations to all everybody that is going to be graduating. So hoot hoot. <laughs> Anyways, um, you know, for those who don't know my story, I am a 25 year old who is graduating at Boston University and finally getting a bachelor's in broadcast journalism. So the reason why it took me a while to go back to school was because I had a singing career in the Philippines, which I am very humbled that I was given that opportunity to be able to follow my dreams as a singer. But because of that, I was delayed in school which meant by the time I transferred here to BU, that was in 2017 and I was 24. Um, and here I am, 25 and 16 more days till graduation. So for those of you who don't know me, um, I'm very family oriented. So it was really tough on me to be separated from my family. I mean, yeah, I do see them like on vacation and stuff, but like, you know, I live in my home for how long and I would see my parents my brother and his family like every day and not seeing them was really tough for me you know it was it was definitely a sacrifice but obviously it was very worth it and then um, around 2018 of August I met my boyfriend and doing long distance was very tough I know it's not like country to country but long distance in general, no matter how far you are to your loved ones, are really tough. So I just want to I just want to give a shout out to my family and my boyfriend for being very patient and supportive through this journey of mine. I love you guys. Thank you very much. Sometimes school was tough for me. Like I remember the days I would cry. I am sensitive AF, so I would cry for many reasons. I'd cry because I'd miss my boyfriend, I'd cry because I miss my family, I'd cry because I'm stressed out, I'd cry because it was like freaking cold. I mean here in Boston, it gets pretty cold compared to California. I am not used to that. I, re I would remember like I would have sleepless nights just because it was so cold. I would need, I even bought those blankets at Target that have like a heater and I'd be like oh it's so cold. But um, yeah, I mean like society today unfortunately they do tell us like oh by by your mid-20s you should you know have this 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 already so i'm here to tell you that there's no there's no equation or no rule to how you live your life you should live your life the way you want to like i had a classmate here at bu that was like 50 or 60 something and i truly admired that so like i just want to use this platform to tell you guys like Follow your dreams and your aspirations and your goals, no matter how hard it is, no matter, I mean, I know we all go through crap in our life, but as corny as this may sound, everything happens for a reason. Like, I believe I was, I was brought here to be you to grow up. I'll be honest with you. Um, I was so used to a lot of things back home and moving here to Boston and living on my own was it totally woke me up as much as I miss my family and my boyfriend. I really, I think I really thank Boston for just making me realize things and realize things, excuse me, and opening my eyes to like, wow, I need to grow up. I need to take initi initiative and just do things on my own because unfortunately, like my parents don't be here forever and I hate saying it, but I have to realize that I have to grow up and do things, you know, and um. As my, you know, as, here's a funny story. So there's a background story to why I chose Boston. So I applied to so many other schools and I, I, um, I applied, you know, in California, obviously, and I applied out of state. And I was like praying about it because I pray a lot. And I, I treat God like my best friend. So I was like, Lord, if I get into any school in California, I'm really meant to be home. But I, if I get into a school out of state, I'm really meant to fly my wings and grow. And I got into BU. It was one of my um, one of my dream schools. It was NYU and BU. But I got into BU, 
and I just thought like I've never been and I've never been to Boston before so I thought it was a great experience moving here really taught me a lot like I mentioned earlier Tom I mean like I know I'm grown I know I'm 25 and I'm grown but living on your own it teaches you so many so many values and so many other things that um I, I really appreciate and that's why I think as as cold as Boston may be I really appreciate the lessons that that I learned here. The people I met working at school, I'm really gonna miss it. Um, I don't wanna get too emotional. I did cry in class. <laughs> See, I told you guys I'm really sensitive. Follow your heart, follow your dreams. Like, God, like my dream, honestly, is to be the first Filipino to host the Grammys. Hey, diversity is finally happening in Hollywood and you never know, you know, I mean, I don't want to live in fear. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I did have this discussion in my narrative radio class that um, one of my classmates interviewed me and it was a great interview. He is an amazing journalist. Um, he loves sports, so kudos to him. But anyways, he interviewed me and he was asking me if like my looks might hinder in the news industry. And I said, yes, you know, I grew up knowing that I was a minority and um, knowing that and having that in the back of my head, it's just, it's tough, it's really tough, you know? So I really hope and pray that I will get somewhere, but you know, being the optimistic person I am, I know I'll get somewhere and that's not being cocky, but that's just being optimistic, looking ahead and knowing that no matter what happens, everything happens for a reason. Even the crappy stuff, even the stuff that may hurt me, everything happens for a reason. I'm so proud of myself and I believe that big or small moments should be celebrated so for those who are watching please do celebrate the small moments and the big moments because each moment will bring you to where you want to be you know so i'm celebrating today i'm gonna buy a pint of ice cream because i love ice cream my boyfriend just told me that mcdonald's has a really good sandwich i mean i know it's like it's probably something you guys heard of i think i don't know what Gosh, I forgot what it's called, but he told me to get this sandwich, but I'm gonna get the food that I want today. And I'm just really excited. And like, I'm going to New York next week and I've never been to New York before. So I'm just right now living my life to the fullest, doing things that I wanna do. I just wanna use this platform to say that um, no matter how um, bad experiences may be, I mean, this was basically a roller coaster ride, moving here to BU, moving here to Boston, but I do embrace it. I do embrace everything that I've been through. I really appreciate the opportunity I had, like coming here. It's just surreal to me, honestly. And I'm just, I'm really overjoyed. I know for sure on graduation, I'm gonna cry because I'm gonna miss the people that I hang out with like almost every day, that I text with every day. But um, yeah, I just wanna say congratulations to everyone that's graduating and also celebrate every moment. So yeah. Um, thanks for listening to my story. I hope I didn't bore you guys. It's just, you know, I really wanted to use this platform and share my story and most importantly tell you guys that age is nothing but a number. Live the life you want to live and live it the best way possible because you only live life once. So anyways guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm definitely going to make some more content in the summer. So I'm so excited for that. I'm going to make more videos. Yay! But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye! <laughs>